Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. This is a message from my guides. Okay, so it's going to be different. It will be different than everybody else's. All right, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not be for you going to resonate with some take what resonates and just leave the rest okay so let's get started let's start right here what do we have for Taurus the week of July 22nd through the 28th dear God angels spirits and universe Ooh, caring connections beautiful it is beautiful. It's beautiful. So there's love here. There's, there's comfortableness. Um, it looks like there's some admiration. So somebody could be admiring you, really feeling comfortable with you. Um, there's definitely a connection. Sorry about that fly. Let's get one of these for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for July 22nd through the 28th, 2019? You should be watching this on the channel Soul Source Tarot. It is safe for you to love. You know, you probably do have a new connection and you might be scared. You probably are scared. I would agree with that. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It looks like this person is very caring. This person is very kind, gentle. Let's see, what else do we have for Taurus? One card for Taurus for the week of the 22nd through the 28th of July, please. I think we're going to go with this one. Ooh. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. Ooh. So we got some passion here, and you're being called to take action. Open your heart. It's safe. It's safe. And I know that's scary. It's hard to believe. It is very scary, especially when you've been hurt so badly um, you got to have courage you have to have courage you know this isn't the time to be timid or hold back gather your inner resources and go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind throw your shoulders back and move forward fearlessly take risks it's okay to feel afraid just don't let it stop you. Don't play it safe. Oh, jeez. Opportunities will pass you by otherwise. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. You are a light bearer for others. Through your example, people find and act on their truth with courage and grace. The sacred traveler sometimes experiences the unexpected on the road. And this is probably an unexpected connection. Perhaps a bear appears or someone with less than pure intentions emerges from the woods. Courage doesn't mean that you're not afraid. It means that in spite of fear and hesitation, you take action. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Any journey of the heart needs courage, and you're on such a journey. It takes bravery to go forward when you can't see around the next corner. But do it anyway. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even your own limiting beliefs. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately, valiantly, and courageously <laughs> they all go together you're gonna need to have some courage to let this person love you <laughs> the 
the lovers reverse. There's indecision here. This is indecision. Fear. Fear of getting in a contract. You know? Fear of the consequences. <laughs> you were probably in a false contract before that caused all this fear. Six of contract in the past. Six of cups reverse. Clinging to the past memories. Clinging to the hurt. Clinging to the separation. Clinging to the pain. Clinging to what happened. Right? I mean, come on now. Clinging to the memories of that, that past relationship that burned you. It really burned you. Some of you could be getting out of a contract. You could be getting out of a cop false contract as we speak. Perhaps it's just not meant to be. Nine of coins, very abundant, very self-sufficient, ready, ready, the nine of coins. We have this person here who is ready. This person is ready. This person has their shit together. This person is self-sufficient. This person is worthy. This person um, knows their worth. This person has worked very, very hard to heal. There's been a lot of healing here, but there's still memories of the past the Ten of Coins isn't here yet. This is independence. This is comfortable. This is comfortably independent. There could be fear of getting in a contract and giving up your independence. Everything is so good, right? It's so good. Hey, man, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Either way, this is this is resisting. This is resisting change. You may love your independence. This is like that song from Kelly Clarkson, Little Miss Independent. Little Miss Independent may be falling in love. She may be getting in a connection, or he getting in a connection that is damn scary. So we got this resisting change. Needing to see something from a new perspective. Needing to be open-minded. There's a level of confusion here which stems from fear. Fear of giving up independence. Fear of getting into a false contract. Fear of repeating the past. You know, fear of letting somebody in. Um, yeah, fear of, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone. Pay. Somebody's watching you. Somebody is observing you. Um, <laughs> You're afraid to bite off more than you can chew, you know. Everything is going so smoothly as we speak. Now we got this love connection. Ace of Wands. Oh boy. It's passionate too. It's it's this is very passionate. The Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. There's a there's an attraction here. There's a desire. There's a there's this is saying go go for it. Just go for it. This is attractive. This is this could grow. goodness this is a new sexual partner for some of you let's just get the rest of the cards and, oh yeah makes sense king of swords reverse three of swords oh boy not good so yeah there's 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 pain here okay i'm gonna tighten this a little bit there is pain there's pain three of swords there's pain Somebody is suffering. Somebody is suffering. They're watching you and they're hurting. Somebody is watching you. They may be watching you suffer, okay? Because this is painful. The Three of Swords is painful. We got this King of Swords here. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we, ha we have everybody here, okay? We do. It doesn't really matter who we're dealing with. There's, there's some sort of conflict. There's some sort of conflict about... Heartbreak. Oh, yeah. There is some sort of conflict about heartbreak. Look at that blue eye. There's a big blue eye here. Anyway, um, there's been some neglect. There's been some... Somebody has dealt with a person that really, really, really... Three of Swords twice! Oh, my God! Somebody has dealt with a person that really, really, really hurt them. I mean, really bad. Okay, 
this deck happens to have two three of swords and you've got them both so there is there's there's sadness there's grieving there's tears there's um fear there's this is painful it is painful i mean i can't make it up two three of swords this ain't good okay this is painful so there's 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 pain over accepting okay because this is seeing the truth accepting the truth about the past you got this new passionate opportunity here being presented to you and there's a lot of you know fears of being abused fears of being neglected fears of being stabbed again fears of being hurt you know there's worry you're very worried about letting somebody in and i feel as though you're really there's definitely some sort of deep thought with these swords there's deep deep thought over you know, letting this go, like we read this card, or it will pass you by. You know, do you accept it or do you, you know, keep worrying that the past is going to be repeated? You know, the Two of Swords reversed. This is fear of change, okay? There's fear of change. I think that you're holding on to anxiety and resentment. There's emotional detachment here. There's emotional coldness. And I think that there's emotional coldness because you probably dealt with a person that really abused you. I mean, this is abuse. The King of Swords in reverse is abuse underneath that hangman. Somebody that refused to see anything from your point of view. Anything at all. You know, you probably dealt with somebody who you could do nothing right. You could do nothing right. And maybe this person that you have a caring connection with now is the same sign. That could be the case. Or they have a lot of similar features. You know, they have a lot of similarities. And there's, this is very scary. It's very, it's very, uh, worrisome. It is very, very worrisome. I feel as though, you know, with this Two of Swords reversed, you have to make a decision. And I feel like this is, you do. And you're very indecisive. So this is a time of indecision this week. I think that you are overwhelmed. You're feeling overwhelmed with anxiety and um You probably have an opportunity to come together with somebody, but right now you're doing so well and you may be a fearing, you know, going backwards. Okay. So let's see. There's definitely a pain, pain here. There's, there's heartache, there's heart pain or there's heartburn, three of swords. You may even be experiencing some tears because this is such a stressful decision. It is definitely a stress, stressful decision. Um, You've been rejected. You've been rejected by somebody that is very similar to this connection. They're very similar, okay? And you're being told that it is safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. You need to have courage. Go after this connection. It is safe for you to love. This may be exactly who you've been waiting for. Something is arriving that you have been waiting for. This, 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 this time of independence, this time of healing, this time of rediscovering yourself and, and finding your worth has made you ready. You are ready. You're ready, but you might have to give up your independence. You know, one becomes two and that is scary. I understand that that is scary, but something is arriving that you have been waiting for. This is an arrival. Your ship has arrived. Could be your relationship. This person could could have arrived from a different location. You know, this person could have, you know, originated from someplace else. And now, here they are. Um, this is saying hope. Hope for the best. Be optimistic. This is what you've been praying for. 
So Taurus, I feel as though you are probably going to be going through some sort of, you know, maybe this is the grieving process. Maybe it's the end of the grieving process because this is grieving. The Three of Swords twice. You are, you are grieving. You are. You are grieving. Maybe you're grieving the loss of your independence. Or you're grieving a loss and you are becoming independent. Okay? There's independence here. Some, this could go, because so many people watch this. Somebody is becoming independent. Or they are no longer going to be independent. There could be a reconnection with somebody from the past for your partner. Okay? This could go so many ways. We could go on for hours with just these cards. Your partner that you were with may be rekindling a flame with somebody from your pa their past. Or you may be rekindling a flame from somebody from your past. And you're really scared of it. There is a flame being lit. This is a match. It is a match. So... Whether this could go so many different ways. Somebody has met their match. They have. And they're being called to move forward with courage. It is safe. Whatever is happening for a reason. It's happening for a reason. Get prepared. Get prepared. This is not something that you can deny. It's not something that you can ignore. And that's why there's so much... Uh, anguish. You are definitely in a state of anguish over accepting, you know, this new path. So be prepared. Be prepared. Somebody has been watching you. Okay. Somebody has been watching you. And I feel as though, you know, you're probably going to be faced with a decision to either, you know, Accept or reject. Good luck.